Amen. 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 I don't even know if I should be trying to preach that for a I came and tore the place out. Amen. Amen. I just want to just say thank you, Bishop. Because when I heard you were coming, I said, oh my God, let me try to clean the place up. You know? Let me just try to get together because. I have so much respect for your ministry. Every time I came in contact with your ministry, I came away changed. Thank you, you know, um, I think I, 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 I lost a member because of you. My Lord. Yeah, um, it, it was a, a trusted person, and they complained that after I came to your church that I was doing th things differently and didn't like it. My God. And um, it culminated in that person leaving. My God. Um, so, you don't throw the place up, so I don't know what's going to happen now. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. It's all over. <laughs> I went to his church, and, and, and things, things changed right away. Thank you. Um, so when, when you were speaking to me, I, um, I'm a little nervous. Because I know how powerful your ministry is. Your music ministry is so powerful. Before I met you, it was blessing us here. When, when, when I met, when I met uh, Brother Jesse. So your ministry has been overflowing to my life. Before I met you, y'all were blessing me. You know, and, and before I met you, Elder Sheena. Mm -hmm. I didn't know she was connected to, to, to Reverend Jesse. She said, yeah, I know Minister Jesse and his wife. <laughs> and then, so, yeah, so, so, your ministry and your witness has been an awesome, powerful force in this ministry. It has changed it. Praise God. You know, I, 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 I look to you for, for guidance as, as, as an elder brother. Um, I like what, what y'all, I love what y'all have over there. Yes. You know, he told me that. It's, it, it's a healing thing. I love it. He told me that. Yes. <laughs> he told yes, I told my mother the same thing. Yes, y'all has, has changed the atmosphere. And I want you to continue. I, I, I love what you did for, for my sister Anne. You picked it right away. Thank you, Lord. And I just, I just thank you, and, and 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 that means that you're in the right place. You know, you came at the right time. Thank you, Jesus. A pivotal time in this ministry. I don't know why it happened this morning, but, but the Lord knows what He's doing. I trust Him. Yes. And, and when a man of God like you shows up, I know God is up to something mighty. Yes, God. And, and I, I congratulate you on your and, and becoming a bishop. Thank you. Amen. I don't even know why it took so long, you know, but, uh, yeah, so, we're going to talk more um, about, I want to make sure we have each other's numbers, and, and I definitely want to talk to you about a few things, amen, so I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful, I'm not going to be long before you, um, because we want to go ahead and move on the rest of our Sunday, amen, amen. But, but like, like Bishop said, we might not be a big church, but we're a powerful church, yes, right. amen. Right. Sometimes I don't preach long, I just try to hit her. Oh, that's right. Right. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 And I'm just very grateful. Um, I just bless your wife right now. Amen. She be sitting there quiet when the Holy Spirit came on her. <laughs> wow. That yes. fan was shaking back there. Go ahead, my sister. One thing I like about your ministry, I love about your ministry, is that you all believe in, in the institution of marriage. Yes. yes. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, for, for us as a people, that is the that is the, our biggest weakness. Family. Men are not around. We're not unified mm -hmm. as, as a family. And if we're not unified as a family, we're not unified as a nation. Exactly. We have nothing in which to build on. Right. So, so your ministry, I, I, I want you to cast some of that marital blessing yeah, they, over here upon every single yeah, one of us, yeah, yeah, including yeah, myself. Hallelujah. 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 Touch that sister right there. With, Hallelujah. Touch the deacon. Yeah. <laughs> touch your mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch my mother twice. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You too, sister. And we ain't forgot you. I know that's right. Amen. Amen. God is good. So Amen. I just love y'all. Um, yes. Because you got me thinking. That's the way it's supposed to be. Why? I, mm -hmm. I said to myself, why am I not preaching that people are getting married? Mm -hmm. You know what? Because everybody don't have every answer. We, that's why we need community. People think. You don't have to go to church, but you have to. If I had not gone to your church, I wouldn't have gotten what I've got. Yes. Amen. 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 So church is important. I don't care what you, you can watch it on TV if you want to. All you can right. play around. You can, be, you can be watching the church on TV too. All right, now. You know what I'm talking about? 
<laughs> Amen. 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 So it, 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 it's good that we fellowship. It's so important. Amen. Amen. So I thank each and every member of your church that is here today. Amen. Amen. Let us move quickly in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Um, we're going to look at the book of John real quick. John 12, 1, 2, and 3. Thank you, Lord. John, to John 12. 1, 2, and 3. Thank you, Lord. If you don't have it, I'll read it. Don't worry about it. I read pretty good. Amen. <laughs> Stand as I read. John 12, 1, 2, and 3. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany where Lazarus, which had been raised, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then Mary took a pound of ointment of spikenard very costly and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Amen. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We adore you. We lift you up. We give you the praise and the honor and the glory. We thank you for every good and mighty thing you've done in your life, in our lives. We ask you to do evermore. We ask you to correct us gently, oh Father God. And we ask you to put our feet on solid ground. Lord, Lord, forgive us what we have done wrong in, in, in thought and deed. But, but again, Lord, correct us. Make us able to do what you want us to do. Lord, we love you. We thank you and we adore you. And in your holy name we say, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Amen. 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 We, 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 we all know this verse. We, we, we find Jesus returning to Bethany. He had just had time and he spoke with Nicodemus. And Nicodemus' name meant victory of the people, but he was a, a Pharisee. He came to Jesus and asked him, how may I be born again? And Jesus Amen. told him. Amen. 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 Then while Jesus was in the temple, he met blind Bartimaeus. And mm. Bartimaeus was healed. Come on, son. He could see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't sometimes we are proud. We get like Nicodemus. <laughs> but he had enough sense to go to Jesus, even yeah. though he went to Jesus in, in the dark. Come on. Hallelujah. And Amen. Jesus showed him the light. Mm. So even though Bartimaeus got his sight, it was Nicodemus. That really saw the light. Amen. And, and, and Jesus leaves the temple. He leaves the temple during the Passover season. And they, 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 they celebrated Passover, which was their freedom from Egypt. Mm -hmm. Come on. And, and this is a great time in, in the temple where they were seeking to be purified. But Jesus left the temple. Mm -hmm. And he found his way down the road two miles and he got to Bethany. Come on. And Bethany was just a wayside. It was a wayside town on the way to Jericho. Right. You see, sometimes we think that, 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 that if we leave the temple or where things are going on and look good, that, that, then we're going to miss something. Yes. But the body of Christ himself left where they were celebrating mm -hmm. past things because yes. he's a God of, of looking at what is going to happen in the future. Right. He's the God of revelation. Yes. And he yes. did not go yes. to big and powerful and mighty people. People, but he came to Bethany. Bethany. And Bethany is by coming to Bethany, he's telling you that he's not concerned with the proud. Come on. The yeah, word yeah. of God said, I resisted the proud. Yeah, yeah. He came to yeah. Bethany yeah. where a few yeah. people were just waiting to see him at, at, at a small and tiny feast. Amen. So that while they had the temple built by Herod, a great beautiful, marvelous place. Mm -hmm. yes, Jesus yes, came yes. to a small little house in Bethany. Amen. Mm -hmm. you, you see, it's not about the edifice. It's about whether or not the Spirit of the Lord was there. Come on, man. Amen. Amen. He's not no respect to a person. He don't care what you've done in the past. He don't care what he's done for you in the past. He's wondering about whether you want to acknowledge him right now. Amen. Whether or not you're going to declare in your heart, believe in your mind that Jesus is Lord. Amen. And these people did, and that's why he showed up. Mm -hmm. And he showed up because it was a feast for Lazarus. Lazarus was dead. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible says when Jesus learned that, he wept. Amen? But he came back again. So Jesus can love you even though you, you, you have behaved in such a way that you're yes, dead yes, yes. Uh -huh. Jesus is going to love you anyway. <laughs> you know, sometimes you, you just have to believe that he will do it. Because people will make you feel, yes, yes, yes. I crossed the line. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm too far right. gone. Right. I've sinned. Yes, you know, right. I've done everything that I thought I wouldn't do and I did it. 
Yes, you know, yes, my situation yes. is dead and spent. Yes. It, it cannot be done. Yes. But the word of God said, even though we're in that condition, yes. and people think it's over for oh, it's over for us. Yes. But the Lord God said, no. While people are wagging their tongues and talking about what you did, yes. Jesus is what He's doing. He's coming, and when He sees your condition, He's not condemning you. But Jesus wept, yes. and when He wept, Mary said, Lord, if you had just been here, yes. my brother would not have died. Because yes. sometimes we think just because Jesus don't come when we want him to, yes. then he's not on time. Yes. I know you're Jesus, but, but he came, and when he came, to show you, like Bishop said, that so that nobody else could say that it was them. That's nobody right. else can say it was the doctor. Right. Nobody else can say it was Martha's yes. cooking. Yes. Nobody else can say nothing else. It was the Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. And sometimes we think because God may bless us once, he's not going to come back. Oh. But he came back because they had a dinner for Lazarus. Yes, yes. 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 he did. He came back. And when Jesus came back, they were ready. Amen. And there was Martha again. Martha, Martha is a symbol, right? Like, because Martha reminds me of, of people who serve. Yes. You know? Yes. And, and she, she one of those people who get it done. A business person, smart yes. and intellectual. Yes. You know? Yes. Sometimes we, 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 we are people of God. We have churches like that. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with them. <laughs> but but, but they, they're intellectual. Come on. You know? They, 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 they will do good things. They will get things done. They got schools and everything going on. Mm -hmm. but, but, but you know what? Then there was also Lazarus, and Lazarus meant the blessings. He symbolized mm -hmm. how God mm -hmm. can bless us. All right, all right. You know? But also, in that house was a woman called Mary, and yeah. she represented worship. worship. Yeah, because while, while, while Martha was going along with her busy self, trying to be proud in her own sight, she loved God, but her worship was a bit stiff. Uh -huh. It was intellectual. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. It was self-important. That's what she did. And, and, but, but, but Mary, understand me now. You know, we know what Mary, I said what Mary name mean. Look it up for yourself. It meant bitterness. Yes. It meant rebellion. Come on. How are you treat yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we know what life she had. She had she had a life where she was filled with demons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said she was a street walker. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, 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 so Mary had this life. You, 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 you see, sometimes we're like that too. Sometimes we our situation is so bad and, and, and people look at us and pass us by. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. You know, Martha is there, her sister's in the street. Uh, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Uh, Lazarus is there. That, Lazarus never seemed to do no work. But Lazarus was there. Yes, yes, yes. And the sister is out there like that. My Lord. Huh? Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees are there. Hallelujah. Even Dr. Luke was there. But Mary is still walking around out there when nobody can help her. So that when Mary saw Jesus, Mary, Mary dropped to his feet and, and she worshipped him. See, and let me tell you, to whom much is given, much is expected. And, and that's why Mary had it right. Because she know where she came from. You got to understand when, when, when your mind ain't right. Definitely. And things ain't going right. You can't think. And you can't sleep. And, and there's no one around you who can't help you. And you're doing bad things with your body. Then all of a sudden, God shows up. That's why, that's why he is always around the people are, are, that, that are down. Because they recognize who he is. When you're big and powerful, you don't recognize God so much. You recognize your bank book. You recognize your car. You recognize how good and Glorious things is. Right, right. You, you get like Lazarus. He's a good man. Yeah. But Lazarus was stuck upon him being brought back from the dead. Yeah. That's nice. But you can go back too. Mary was there sitting down, talking about she's going to cook. But I'm sorry, Martha. But Mary found herself at Jesus' feet, yes, listening to what he said. Right. That made her disciple. Yes, yes, yes. Now, right now. Yes, you see, sometimes we don't want to sit at Jesus' feet. Come on. Yes, right, Just right. Sit at Jesus' feet ain't an easy thing. Mm -hmm. Even at that time, Jesus. They had sandals sometime in barefoot, in the desert. <laughs> People don't want to touch you. Exactly. But she threw herself at his feet and she worshipped the meaning of worship. Yes. The, 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 it's, it's as if a dog looked at his master's hand. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. And, 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 and sometimes uh, we get to a situation, we're not licking no master hand. Come on, come on. That's right, that's right. And that makes us hypocrites. Because fall in love. Ah. Right, right. He'll be like, baby. <laughs> come on, come on, master. Okay, now that's just the beginning. In any way, she had no qualms about it. Mm -hmm. she, and, and, and the Bible says, furthermore, 
she gets this ointment and a spikenard, and, and spikenard was not a local thing. Spikenard was grown in India, so it came down the caravan trails. And, 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 and we don't know where Mary got the money from. Maybe because of inheritance. We don't know where he got it from, but that's all she had. And the worship is like that. Yes. She took whatever she had and, and, she, and she poured it upon Jesus. Some, some, some old book says it was his head, some say it was his feet. But we all know that she, she, she wiped his feet with her hair. Yes, yes, yes. And, 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 and that was a scandalous thing. Yes. Your worship can scandalize you. Oh, oh. 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 David danced out of his clothes. Oh. What is his wife said? Oh. It was scandalous. Uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah, oh. Jesus. Amen. Yes, he did. Amen. Peter saw Jesus and he jumped out the boat when he was fishing, no. naked. When he saw his Lord, it can be scandalous because people don't know where you come from. People don't know what you've been through. And I can say what they want to say. People don't know that, 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 that so what I fall on the ground when Jesus comes. Amen. So what my worship is, is wild and loud. You sit right there and look proud and important, but I know where he brought me from. And that's what Mary said. It was a very scandalous thing. Number one. Only men were supposed to be there. Uh -huh. Women were supposed to be seen and not heard. That's right. Not even seen at all. That's right. But 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 Mary came anyway and threw herself at Jesus' feet. And she got this expensive thing, and, and the Bible says it was worth over 300 denarii, 300 pence. Yes, yes, yes. In those days, a denarii would, would, would be the, the, the wage of the, of an average person for a day. All right. It, it was enough to, to buy enough wheat to feed a man for a day, or enough barley for three days. So you can have. 300 denarii and feed a man for 900 days. Uh -huh, cool. That's how much money she used on Jesus. It's, it's just like somebody giving you $90,000. Three All right. minutes All right. of, of salary. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she had. And, and she put it over Jesus' head. Now let me tell you, water would have done the same thing. A water and a towel would have washed his Oh. Yeah, tell it, tell it, tell it. That's right. But she went ahead and did a spark knock anyway. And it was scandalous because they said, Mary, you could have fed the old and the poor. That's right. Huh? Yeah. You see, people are going to tell you how to worship. Yeah. They're they, they going to say, you don't take all that. Yeah. You know? Not at all. You're messing your clothes up. Come on. Yeah. Huh? You should be singing so much, Deacon Francis. Uh, What's your problem? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit yourself down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be talking in tongues. Hide yeah, yeah. because we don't understand yeah. what you're saying. That's right. They're doing all kind of things. Yeah, yeah. And it really is the ones who are criticizing you are the ones who was hard as bricks. Yeah. Right? But, but, but by the way, you are worshiping the Lord because yeah. they ain't worshiping the Lord at all. all right. 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 Judas talking about he wanted to, to feed the poor. What was Judas but a thief? Exactly. Right. He wanted to feed the poor. <laughs> <laughs> the poor was his heart. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And she pauses. The Bible says that she took her hair and she wiped his feet. In those days, a woman was not supposed to show their hair That's right. at all. Yeah. But she whips out her hair and she takes it out and she dries his feet with it. Yes. That's worship. And that's what's what it's all about. And, and, and the title of, of, of my sermon is, is Prodigal Love. Come on, son. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You see, we talk about the, 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 the prodigal son. Yeah. Yeah. And all prodigal, prodigal means is to be extravagant. Come on. To be wasteful. Yeah. Come on. And, and prodigal love is mean extravagant love. Right. A love where you throw it all on the line. Uh -huh. and you don't care how it goes. You don't care how it ends up. That's you don't right. care how it looks. Yeah. Right. I remember a song in the old days. Some of y'all too young. Yeah. But the, what does the song say? If a, when a man love a woman, what? He will sleep out in the rain. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's practical love, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Practical love is another song. Well, how that song go? If loving you is wrong. That's right. That's what she was talking about. She didn't care that the, look, her hair was up. She didn't care that she was at his feet. She didn't care that the poor was hungry. She didn't care about nobody. It was her time to worship the Lord. And when you worship the Lord like that, like nobody else matters, like nothing else matters, he is right there with you. And that's why Mary is great today. It is not because she has demons. It's because she showed us the way how to worship. You give it all you got. And, and we're able to do it. If you think you can't worship the, the Lord, you're a liar. The truth is not in you. Let the one you love show up right now. You give him her all you got. Yes, she will. But she knew King Jesus. Here's another song by Aretha. 
Aretha said, what? Don't send me no doctor. Right? Fill uh -huh. me up with all those pills. What she said? She had what? A man named what? Dr. Feelgood. That's right. And that man named Dr. Feelgood is Jesus. That's right. He'll take her over all your pains and your ills. And that's why she did what she did. Amen. There was nothing special about it, but she knew how to love. Amen. And I use those songs to tell you, you can love that way too. That's right. He did it before. All those people came into our lives and broke our heart. Prodigal love. Amen. You gave them the last thing you had in the first thing. Yes, you did. Yeah. 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 On the phone all night talking about how, how you doing, baby? Prodigal love. It's the same thing. But we won't give the Lord the prodigal love. We won't call the Lord at night when the problem is wrong. We want to act like Martha talking about being the kitchen, making something. That's not what it's all about. You see, what Mary did is what Jesus asked for. Jesus said, in the end days, many shall say, Lord, Lord, can we cast our demons in your name? And Jesus going to say, get thee hits what i never known you. Further down in that chapter, he says, when I was hungry, you did not feed me. When I was naked, huh, you did not clothe me. And what he's talking about is, 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 he, is he talking about why didn't you give me the love that was appropriate? That's right. That's what it's about. Jesus showed up needing something. See, we don't we, we want from Jesus. We don't want to give him anything. The disciples were there. Peter, Paul, John, all these guys, all, right. all these names. But Mary, a woman, a no good so and so, demon possessed, street walker, no body. She had the key because she know how. It feels to be so low, and there's something about being low that can make you see how high the situation is. So we cannot ever worry about the hard time. God is showing us something. We have to remember and never forget when God created the heaven and the earth. The earth turned into a void and chaos, but the Spirit of God hovered there above, and He said, "Let there be light." And the earth, hallelujah, Jesus. The earth, the after that, God said, "It is." Good. You see, yes. when the light of the world shows up, you got to respond like the earth did. The earth responded, and God said, "It is good." And when the Lord saw what Mary did, He said, "Leave her alone." He said, "Don't trouble her because she is preparing me for my burial." She was a prophetess, so sometimes when you worship, you can prophesy too. Sometimes you can be a living epistle. Yes. The earth is a living epistle. You know, yes. right? there's yes. two types of revelation. There is there is a, the word of God, which is specific revelation. But there's also general revelation. General revelation is creation. That's right. Yes. The world speaks and says God is good and worthy yes. to be praised. Uh -huh. right? yes. the, the word of God says the rocks will what? Right. Cry out. Because they speak for God. Yes. And when you worship him like the earth does, bringing forth his goodness yes. without yes. fail, no matter what happens, no matter what to do with the earth brings forth his fullness. Anyhow, that's what Mary did on that morning. She gave it all she had to give. And that's what God asked of you. Give them all you got. What you got may not be worth something to other people. But what you got may be worth everything because they want what you got for themselves. But whatever it is, if it's a song, hallelujah, Jesus. If it's walking and talking to him, you give it all you got. If it's preaching, preach it. If it's praying, pray it. If it's singing, sing it. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. If it's interceding, please, oh, please just intercede. God has given you everything you need to get through the, the, this veil of tears. All you got to do is give it all you got. Give him prodigal love. All right. We know the prodigal son, what did he do? He took what he was given. Yeah, Thank Mm -hmm. and, he, and he gave them the righteous living. Yes, right. Amen. We do that too. Come on. Amen. 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 Come on. Because I'm not giving God my, my mortgage money. <laughs> I'm going to get there one day. I heard that. Yeah, let me tell you, I used to. Mm -hmm. Pay you right now, you know? And I'm gonna tell you that when you love God like that, so what you say? Yeah. We say, later for the mortgage man, later for the rent man, later for the light man, later for food at some time. That's what it's called fasting. Sometimes we gotta fast our money too. And that's all she had. And, and, and if you just trust God with the little bit that you have, I'm telling you, He does it every time. The Bible says, I've never seen what the righteous what forsaken. Help me preach it. Or the same bread. It's going to happen for you. 
You love God like that. You love God in, in a practical way. You love God extravagantly. You, you, you give God what is expected of you. Don't let a dog beat you up. Don't let a rock beat you up. Don't let a dead earth beat you up. You praise Him with what you got. You just never stop because God is a God is a good God who looks up high and looks low. He sees everything that you do. And if you just worship Him, if you just take a chance on the Lord, if you just love Him like you're supposed to, all these things that you ask for shall happen to you. The word of God said, what seek ye first? Come on. Let me preach the kingdom of God. One more. And all his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. The prodigal love is very simple. It's written in John 3.16. Prodigal love. All right. What does it say? For God so loved the world that he gave what? His only begotten son. That whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's prodigal son. My, that's prodigal life. My only son, prodigal love. Come on, son. Track. Follow that example. God loves us like that. He, he, he gave us everything he had. He sent his only son. Just so that we can be clean. That's what Mary did. She gave all she had. Just so his feet could be clean. Just so he can smell good. Just so he can go through his problem with, 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 with something that might bless him a little bit. Maybe it's really easier for him to go through the torture. Because he if that smell smelled the whole room. And, and, and maybe he remembered and helped us bless somehow. Knowing that somebody loved him. Knowing that somebody had blessed even his feet. Knowing that somebody had anointed his head. You see, the little things mean a lot. God didn't need to wait me, but it was what she had. That's right. You got to give it all you got. You can't be afraid. You got to give prodigal love. It's not something impossible. You've done it before, and now you can do it again. Amen, and I'm done. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory. We lift you up. We thank you, Jesus. We can just praise your name right now. We say, Hallelujah. 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 We say, We love you, Lord. We magnify you. We adore you. We lift you up. We give you the praise and the honor and the glory, oh Father God. Let us learn how to love you like Mary did. Let us jump up and, 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 and run to your feet when the time is right. Let us not be worried about how it may look on the of Jesus. Let's love like we ain't got no sense. Let's love like we lost our minds in the name of Jesus. I know you, Jesus. Just Lord, enable us to live out our destiny by loving you. Lord, we thank you. We love you and enjoy you. In your holy name we say, Amen. 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 Oh, would I ask Bishop to come up, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Normally, at this time in the service, I, I pray for people. Thank you. I want you to pray for people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now they come. Thank you. And God is just so good to us. Thank God for what.